Hello, Angela, and happy Tuesday to you. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a different part of my house to make this video for you. Uh, part of that reason is that I am in my room, but my room is trashed, and I can't show any of it to you. Hard as I try, as much as I may clean and organize my room, my brother, un un without fail, uh, moves into my room and just kind of throws all sort of crap all around and it becomes very very trashed so tomorrow will be spent cleaning up my room and making it ready to be habitable uh, there's food wrappers all over places some of my things have been crushed because he's placed heavy things on top of them so it's it's sort of hurricane recovery mode but it will get done i will reclaim my room other news I got a haircut, as you can tell. Uh, you might be very happy about it. Most people are very happy about it. Um, no one really likes my long hair, except Max's mom. Um, but you're more important. Sorry, Max. Today, I ran around and prepared the package I will be sending you, as well as certain homemade items. Kelsey made items, which I will also be sending you. So be on the lookout for that. I will send you information about that. I have a new question for you, perhaps a more fun question. Being that we are both back home, um, where we grew up, or in the, at least the same state where we grew up, back with our families, um, you know, the question of, of childhood um, and our upbringing comes up uh, fairly, fairly regularly. And also, since it is Christmas time, uh, it is a season for gift giving, um, material and immaterial gifts. And so my question for you, what gift would you give your 10 year old self? Um, would you give them a toy you really wanted? Would you give them money? Maybe money. Um, would you give them advice or, or something else? What? What would you give your 10 year old self on Christmas? What would I give my 10 year old self? A treadmill. It sounds cruel and it, it kind of is. But I think, I think my life would have turned out much differently had I not been overweight throughout, you know, middle school, elementary school, middle school, high school. Um, I don't know to what effect it would have I don't know if it would make me a better or worse person. I tend to think that uh, my my demeanor and my calm perseverance through all adversity comes from my ability to tolerate a lot of crap people give me. Um, I also think being fat gave me a very good disposition, a very good sense of humor. And I'm not sure what effect a skinny Kelsey going through middle school, high school would have. And I would be interested to see. So to my 10 year old self on Christmas day, here is a treadmill. Watched your video, greatly enjoyed it. I think those two friends of yours, Michael and Aaron, are the remaining two people in your life I have not met. Undoubtedly there are more people in your life I have not met. But of the main important people, they're the two I have not met yet. And that will change soon, hopefully. But I very much enjoyed the cookies, and hopefully, hopefully one of these years we will spend Christmas together, and we can, together, make cookies and gingerbread houses and all these sort of things. So I think that it would be it for now. I think I'll go shower and then go to sleep, and I will see you in the morning.